In uh, this video, we're going to talk about how to build your own wood-fired water heater. This is a, the wood-fired water heater as we're currently using. It's an uh, old gas-fired water heater that is set up on a uh, metal base and surrounded by the jacket from an um, electric water heater, which is a little bit larger. Here's the base. It's made out of an old solvent still that I pulled out of a uh, sinkhole. You can also make the base out of concrete blocks or whatever you have laying around the house that will hold about 200 pounds, which is about what the uh, uh, water heater is going to weigh once it's full of water, if you've got a 90-gallon water heater. Uh, this is the hot water outlet that's coming out. And we've added this jacket from a gas-fired water heater to give us more insulation. We can put in an extra couple inches, inches of insulation. We simply cut the jacket off and then uh, reattached it with uh, self-tapping metal screws. It's not the most elegant design, but it uh, it does work, and it means that we can go for uh, at least two days and sometimes three days without having to build a fire because the hot water heater is insulated enough to keep the water hot for that long. For the top of the cover, we simply cut the top off of another uh, electric water heater and jammed it down on. Uh, this is the cold water inlet pipe that that goes into the top of the uh, gas-fired, the old gas-fired water heater. Here we've uh, started our fire. We uh, just use sticks uh, we find laying around. In this case, we've actually picked up a bunch of sticks that uh, were left when the power crew came through and uh, trimmed a high power line. And we use newspapers and uh, junk mail and cardboard uh, food boxes to get the fire started. And it uh, takes about three loads of sticks like this to get the tank uh, hot. Uh, once you get the fire going, then it doesn't take a whole lot of time to tend it. Uh, you just keep adding wood and keeping the fire going. Uh, it's not a pollution-free device. As you can see here, we produce a little bit of smoke in the process. Uh, and so it's not something that you'd want to use in a probably an urban setting, but for a, a hunt camp or if you live out on your own uh, out in the country, it's a convenient way to produce uh, hot water with no uh, cost for electricity or for gas. Uh, to make the hot water heater, you simply take an old gas water heater, which is what we have here, uh, and take out the gas burner parts of it. Uh, that's the parts that are underneath. You can't really see them, but it's uh, uh, they're connected with those pipes that are running down from the valve uh, assembly that has the red uh, knobs on it. And you also uh, cut the jacket off. And so this is what you end up with is a uh, a tank that you can then set on the stand. And so the Flames come up and heat the bottom of the tank and actually go up through the center uh, hole. So it's time to go out, find yourself an old hot water heater sitting next to the road, bring it home, and turn it into a wood-fired hot water heater that lets you burn your junk mail and little scraps of wood you find around the house and save the price of electricity and gas to heat your own hot water.